this week is kind of interesting. Tung nay nó cũng vui vui. Because uh, just like you, I enjoy learning. I enjoy learning new things. Uh, tại sao vậy? Tại như cái vị thầy cũng thích học hỏi mấy cái điều mới, mấy cái điều mới. Uh, it's um, it is this uh, inside of me. There's a little boy who is thirsting for new knowledge and uh, learn uh, interesting things. Tại thầy cũng như cái vị trong thầy có một cái uh, đứa con nít nó thích học cái đồ mới, học cái đồ lạ lạ, uh, đồ mà thích, uh, um, hay ho. And um, um, so the way I learn is uh, by uh, by uh, picking a role model. Thầy, cách thầy học hỏi là, là, là sao? Là mình cách chọn một cái người thầy. Uh, I um, I didn't realize it, but uh, uh, but um, but uh, the one of the most important things about learning, about the learning process, is to pick the right teacher, the right authority. Tại sao? Tại vì thầy ngờ lúc trước trong cái thế giới, cái cái cuộc sống thường ngày không hiểu rằng muốn học thì cái rất quan trọng là có người thầy, người thầy giỏi, người thầy đúng. Because you see, like in the world, in our, in a, in a worldly things, I, I hope that uh, uh, if you have a chance, uh, send your children to go and, and yourself go to the best school, the best university that you can afford to, and you have the opportunity to uh, enter. Chẳng như trong cái thế giới ngoài kia đó, uh, tại gia đó, thì quý vị muốn đi học, thì kiếm một cái trường đại học cho nó giỏi để mà học. Anh thấy hy vọng quý vị sẽ gửi uh, con cái hoặc là quý vị tới một cái trường mà giỏi để mà học hỏi. Why is that? Because um, because they um, they um, they um, they are the best at forming uh, uh, people's mind. Uh, tại vì uh, những cái trường giỏi nó họ họ biết dạy. Uh, uh, they 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 um, they are um, able to set the standards for you cho cái vị một cái tiêu chuẩn okay so similarly in the in the uh, in in the um, in the spiritual or or uh, a seek a quest of knowledge you should uh, select a teacher that is uh, that is uh, knowledgeable that is wise cũng tương tự như vậy khi cái vị trong cái con đường tâm linh trong cuộc đời con đường uh, uh, mở trí huệ thì cái vị nên cho một cái người thầy mà 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 có trí huệ một cái thiện tri thức so this is uh, I didn't realize that when I first started on the spiritual path lúc uh, đầu đầu thời cái đầu thầy cũng không ngờ cái chuyện đó I just wanted to learn to do things okay so like everyone else lúc đầu bước đầu học thầy chỉ muốn học thôi muốn học cách thiền này nọ thôi. And uh, it's funny that I lucked out because uh, somehow I stumbled into my current teacher, my 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 late teacher. Tự uh, nhiên cái duyên nó đưa đẩy thầy tới uh, gặp được cái vị ân sư là ngài hòa thượng tiêu hóa. And um, I didn't realize that uh, I uh, how lucky I was to able to be able to encounter such a, a great man. Thầy không ngờ, thầy may mắn đồ có thể gặp được một người vị mà một đại vị nhân. Really, he's a really great man in my opinion, because I have yet, to, I have yet to meet uh, in person a greater man, if you will. Tại vì thực sự thầy nhìn khắp tất cả và thầy thầy thấy thầy có được cái thì chưa thấy một cái người nào đã chưa từng thấy họ gặp những người nào mà uh, mà, 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 mà cái trình độ mà, mà, mà trí huệ cao như ngài tiêu hóa. So it is a, a great pleasure to meet with these such people. Uh, thành uh, gặp những người như vậy rất là thích thú. Then since uh, I don't get the chance to uh, meet great men often, I try to make it a point to seek out uh, uh, 
wise people and competent people. Thầy nói thầy, vì rất khó gặp những cái vị đại vĩ nhân như vậy. Thầy thầy, cái, cái, cái đợt thứ nhì, thầy đi kiếm những cái người giỏi. Yeah. Những người, I, I like to meet with uh, the best people in the field. Uh, that, that they always intrigue me. Uh, they pick up những cái người mà giỏi trong cái ngành của họ. Okay. Uh, because uh, because uh, there's something about them. Uh, they're, they're, they, they're, they're in the excellence that uh, you can, uh, that I feel I can learn a lot from. They gặp những người giỏi như vậy, thầy nghĩ thầy học hỏi rất là nhiều. So uh, this uh, uh, just a couple of days ago, a few, a few days ago, uh, we uh, had some journalists come to the temple. Vài ngày vừa qua có một cái vài phóng giả uh, từ từ báo tới uh, tới tới chùa. Uh, they came to do a story on our our Shri relic uh, collection. Họ tới để uh, phỏng vấn và làm một tường thuật về cái cái xa lợi của chùa. And um, it's from the from Associated Press. Thì họ từ từ uh, từ um, từ báo cái cơ quan báo chí là Associated Press. This is an in, international uh, press body. That's a widely reference, uh, um, uh, and um, and um, so three people came, and ba người tới. One is photographer. He came and quietly took a lot of pictures. Uh, uh, it's just uh, amazing to look at this photographer. His uh, all concentration. I, I, I walked in. I saw how he was focusing on just. I only see him with camera and the picture is taken. Okay? That's concentration. Uh, and quý vị, uh, quý vị, cái người này, người, người, người um, phố nhòm này, thầy bước vào thì thấy ông này, ông chỉ còn thấy ông với lại cái, 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 những cái xa lời mà ông đang chụp thôi. So I see this ability, this ability of one of the better photographers, okay? Uh, to be able to relax between shots. But when he takes a shot, he only concentrates on the task at hand. He sees nothing else. It's just like this focus. He's zooming in. Okay? Like, uh, like, like a shot. The ability to, to focus in on the task at hand. That's meditation right there. And can be ông này giữa giữa cái giữa cái 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 từng từng cái từng cái cái một lần mà ông chụp hình đó, thì mình có thể ông thầy thấy ông 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 thư thả lại và khi mình chụp hình thấy ông như ông chú tâm lại ông chỉ chú tâm vào cái việc ông làm thôi. It's fascinating to see how these competent photographers are able to function so effectively. That is, they are in a state relaxed state. Cách họ làm việc rất là hay. Ông làm việc rất là hay. Thứ nhất đó, là ông rất là thư thả, they're relaxed, okay? They walk in a relaxed way. They don't go like us. Like when you're busy, remember? When you're busy, you go like this. Okay, because you, you're so focused. You, you say, I, I need to finish. I need to do this. Okay? No, he's not like that. He walks over He walks over in a relaxed fashion, and then when he's supposed to take a picture, as he's walking, he's relaxed. When he's taking a picture, he focuses. Then he tenses up. He says, ah. You see, you see the intense focus. So that's... Uh, uh, that's meditation right there in action that people don't realize. Okay. Then, thầy thấy uh, ông thư thải là khi trước khi mà ông khi mà ông chụp cái hình đó, thì ông nhiên ông 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 chú tâm vậy sao ông chú tâm trong cái việc làm chụp cái hình. Còn mà giữa bộ cái tấm hình mà ông chụp đó, thì ông có thể relax được. When I see, for example, xiên chữ here work around the temple, nhà như thầy hiện trì, thầy thấy ông làm việc ngoài ngoài chùa. I see him being tense from from beginning. To he has so much energy, even at his age. Ông hiện trì này ông có sức đến độ mà ông có thể ông làm việc mà ông có thể. No, you you can see he's, he's coming at you. A myriad. I can see the tree. He says he's coming at me. He, he's going to water me. Okay, so he announces himself. No, uh, that's a lot of wasted energy, of mental energy to go from one place to another. Okay. You waste energy that way. You waste your life resource. 
Và khi mà con mình làm việc nhưng con bước từ cái từ cái 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 cái, cái, cái vòi nước mà đem cái thùng nước tới đựng cái cây là cái thân cái 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 trí của nó đang focus he's thinking about he's so intense so he doesn't know how to relax okay you have to be more relax con phải tập con phải thư thả nhiều từ cái bước tới đó đó thư thả thư thả you the great production comes from utilizing all your mental energy on producing the work but in between you relax because you don't want to waste it nhưng mà nhớ như vậy especially when you get older like he is if you use energy that way you can run out of energy during the day okay còn mình lớn tuổi rồi mà con không biết xài sức như vậy nó nó phí phạm như vậy là con con sẽ đuối sức chịu không nổi đâu and that's what i'm saying about Now, how you optimize your energy during the day. You relax, relax, relax. What is relaxing? And I khuyên quý vị trong ngày, lúc cả ngày như vậy, thì biết thư thả. Thư thả nghĩa là sao? What does it mean to relax? Hmm? Close. Well, yes. Ikaru. What is relax? Huh? Rest. That's right. What is resting? Calm down. Very good. Calm down. That's right. It's excellent. Thư thả nghĩa là mình 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 thông thả. You slow down, right? You slow down, and you are not as tense. That's very good. So physically, he's very good. You see, the answer came to him. Uh, physically, see when you're not noisy, how easy the answer comes. Huh? You relax because when you relax, that is a state of physical relaxation. Relaxation is you breathe normally. And what else? Cái tư thế mà thư thả nghĩa là sao? Là cái cơ thể mình không có căng thẳng. Your arm is relaxed. It's soft. It's not tense. You see the tension in your arm. Okay, in your legs, in your back, in your, in your upper torso, and your neck, that's tension. Okay, you relax those. So you pay, you pay attention. That's all. When you are not relaxed, you see the tension. You 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 close your eyes, or you 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 quiet your mind. You see that. You see that. Oh, there's tension in my upper torso. Tension in my neck, because I'm not relaxed enough. If you're aware of that, then you naturally will relax. Okay, and the other thing that Ikaro doesn't know about is that you don't think. Nói cái gì? Của cái cái thư thả là không có suy nghĩ. Because this is what happens to him. Okay, I describe this process to him. He goes to the spigot. Okay, and and open the 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 spigot, and the water comes down on the bucket, and he picks up the bucket. And he goes there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to water this thing. I'm going to water this thing. So he's thinking about, think about the completion of the task. Okay? He's thinking about finishing. This is this desire to finish the work at hand. Whereas, what's the point in wishing? What's the point in thinking about the completion of the task? Because you're walking over anyway, you cannot complete the task yet, right? So relax. Don't even think about it. Just set the mind. Say, "I'm going over there." That's it. Then you stop. Am I making sense? You see what I'm talking about? Your natural habit, huh? Because you get up and say, "I'm going to the bathroom," and you walk every step. You still repeat, "I'm going to the bathroom." I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. It's not necessary. Yeah. Mình chỉ, this is what exactly happened to the Buddha, by the way. This is a beautiful story. And, you, and when I heard of it, I, uh, I said, oh, wow. Uh, I meditated so long, and yet, yet I didn't understand this. Tại vì, cần đi mà đang suy nghĩ, tôi sắp chứ, không cần suy nghĩ. Mình chỉ, mình sẽ đi tới tư nước rồi. Xong rồi mình không suy nghĩ nữa. Mình thư thả mới đi. Đi không vậy đó. Chỉ đi tới thôi đó. Because someone told me, related to me, this, this anecdote. Uh, uh, years ago, uh, 
someone, uh, in, uh, someone asked the Buddha, because every day the Buddha used to get up in the morning, and then like monks, like the other monks, they would walk from where they were to the village, and then go back for, 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 to, to beg for food. Okay? Believe it or not, for monks, it's a very important task to go back for food, make sure you have enough food for the day, and you come back and eat it. So, and they, they used to live far away from the cities. So it's a long walk, okay? They didn't have uh, uh, Japanese cars, okay? I mean, Korean cars. Now Korean cars is more popular. Uh, and so they, they didn't have cars, so they have to walk. They walk for an hour or two, and then go back, and then they come back. So it's a long process. So, những đời trước nha, là xưa là lúc mà Phật thời Phật còn tại thế đó, thì mỗi ngày á, là các thầy Phật với các thầy đều phải đi khất thực. Tại vì sao? Tại vì họ không có nấu ăn được, mà họ còn ở xa thành thợ thành thị nữa. Thành ra họ thường được họ đi họ đi tới họ phải cần đi bộ xa lắm, không phải như thời buổi nay ta lái xe, à, như thầy Hằng Tỳ cần đi đâu leo lên xe đi ngay lập tức 10 phút là tới. Còn này họ phải đi đi bộ. Okay. So Uh, so one day the Buddha got up, and he he started uh, on started uh, on his uh, arms uh, bow around, start to go begging for food. And một người kia, một kia buổi sáng Phật uh, Phật dạy, thầy Phật mới 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 đi đi um, đi khất thực. Mm. Um, someone, his one of his disciples saw him on the street and said, "Oh, we're honored one. Where are you going?" Thì có một người đệ tử mới hỏi, "Ờ." Oh, Bẩm Đức Thế Tôn, Như Lai đi đâu vậy? Uh, so you know what the Buddha said? The Buddha said, I'm going towards the city. Hmm. Buddha, Đức Phật mới trả lời, tôi đi về cái phía, cái thành thị. You see the distinction? We would say, I'm going to the city. The Buddha says, I'm going towards the city. The goal is, is the city, but he's a process of going towards the city. Okay? So, uh, so he, he, he um, unlike us, uh, when we say we go somewhere, our mind is attached to that, oh, I have to get there. Okay? He's not like that. He says, I'm going towards that destination. That is called mindfulness. That is called relaxed. Because he's not thinking about the destination. He's aware of what he's going right now. You see that? And that's Chan right there. Phật mới trả lời, Thưa Thưa Cô, Như Lai đi đâu? Thưa Thưa Cô, Tôi đi về cái phía thành thị. Người thường sẽ nói, tôi về, tôi đi tới chợ, tôi đi tới cái tiệm. Được rồi, Phật nói, tôi đang tới tiệm. Cái đó gọi là chánh niệm. Cái đó gọi là thư thả. Tại như thường chỉ nhìn được cái mục tiêu mà không nhìn tới cái quá trình. Ok? Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Like what? In particular. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, so I, 
I don't know how to deal with it. Deal with it, okay. Good question. Rồi cô nói cô học học lớp 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 họa, lớp vẽ. Mà con thầy ông mến cô, ông dạy cô nhiều lắm mà con dạy nhưng về cái ông phải ông dạy ông cho muốn chia sẻ cái cái sự hiểu biết của ông ấy. nhất là ông dạy muốn về cái cách mà cuộc sống cái nhân nhân sinh quan. Uh, this is what teachers do, by the way. Good teachers they share their your they share their their uh, views of the world, okay, and that translates into how they solve problems, how how they go about. Uh, Uh, about uh, uh, effectively dealing with life. Uh, những người thầy thì ai cũng dạy về cái nhân sinh quan của họ. Okay, I I I I prefer teachers who share their perspective. That's what all good teachers do. Okay, because it's not simply alone to teach a skill, technical skill, but it's also how to integrate technical skills in in life, how you apply that in life. So. So, uh, so it's a good thing. Trước hết những cái người mà thầy giỏi ai cũng dạy nhân sinh quan hết. The the problem is that sometimes uh, uh, your perspectives in life are uh, are uh, uh, not necessarily uh, uh, the wisest. Okay. Mm. Cái khổ, uh, this is this is why. This is why uh, I, when I earlier I would I, I used to hate teaching children because I didn't know anything about myself out there, you know, or having children because I would have the responsibility to educate my children, and yet I couldn't handle my own emotion, my own afflictions because I refused to have children back then. Okay, những lúc trước mà thầy thầy có gia đình thầy nhất định không chịu có con không chịu đẻ con tại vì Uh, có con cái tại vì mình thấy mình chưa đủ sức mà uh, uh, đối phó với cái tình cảm của mình của cuộc đời của mình không sao mà dạy con được ok so uh, but uh, it, it turns out it turns out that the more you have to deal with children that's when you more you wise and you mature and you learn thì ra đứa có đứa con nó lời nó mà tại vì nó bắt mình phải they force you to mature they force you to Uh, improve in order to better take care of them because they need your help. They need your guidance because you don't give them. You may send the children to learn technical skills from a class, but no one else will teach them the proper value system, the proper philosophies of life. So I love it when I, you, I see teachers who share the philosophies, philosophies of life. Those are the wiser teachers. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. However, one thing really that is like against what my perspective is is that his one of his theme of being a painter is to paint an island in Korea which is a very deserted old place with the sun. Mm-hmm. There's an island that Japan claims is their land and Korea is claiming its land, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like he's like branded as a, as painting that island as a how do you say? Like a campaign that this is Korean land, mm-hmm. and from what I understood as a Buddhist, like you can be selfish as a part of the nation as well, right? And I think that's that's not that's not that's not what I I believe to stand for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like if 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 I involved in such fight, mm-hmm. make it worse by this kind of war. Right. Right. It's uh, not very Buddhist to fight like that. Huh? A true Buddhist would never fight like that. Yeah, like, I understand like he's doing good things, but like from meeting him, I understood how how uh, strong ego we have as Korean nation, national uh, pride, and national pride. Yes, it's very strong, and I understand that I I used to be stronger, mm-hmm. and I think. That makes more problem because other people view this as like somebody else and it's a big discrimination. Yeah. Right. Right. And what his activities are all related to that. And like for instance, he asked me to join his one of the exhibition with other students. Mm. And it's all about love to Korea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To me, it's like 
I don't feel like I would have joined, you know. Mm. Well, yeah, uh, uh, some people are like that. They 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 need a cause to uh, motivate them to make uh, to make that to drive them to uh, to do things to make uh, to to uh, make the life interesting their lives interesting, but uh, uh, oh. and uh, so sometimes they, they, their approach is wrong. Uh, they they don't uh, they they engage in in uh, things that are are not uh, are not good for them nor for the people around them. For example, fighting is a very anti-Buddhist <laughs> attitude. The true Buddhist would never fight. Okay. In particular, uh, if you really understand, you will not hurt others. Because fighting oh. involves hurting yeah. others. Okay. That's the last thing you want to do, is hurting others, intentionally. Uh, you engage in fighting, someone has to lose. You beat up on others, and therefore, you're hurting or harming others. It's not a good thing. Okay? So, um, uh, so how do you deal with such people? Uh, uh, you you deal with such people by by not fighting with them because they're always picking a fight. So what you do, you don't fight with them. Okay. Uh, làm sao mình đối phó những cái người như vậy? Những cái người mà chuyên môn đi đi uh, uh, đi um, dàn co hay là mấy cái người mà chuyên môn đi thích tranh đấu à, những thầy thích tranh đấu cho những quyền lợi của nhân dân này ok à, của tổ quốc đi um, you you don't want to reject them either ok mình không muốn bỏ họ nữa ok because rejection is not Buddhist either ok We don't we don't reject people when they're wrong. Uh, we don't we reject our children when they're wrong, right? We patiently bear with them. Okay. What you do is you don't judge them. Just like you don't judge the people you love. Okay, you accept them. Okay? And that's uh so so uh but you don't necessarily but you, you draw a line. You say, okay, I respect you, I respect you, I admire you, I want to learn you know, certain things from you. But there are other things where I would rather not get involved. So express clearly where you stand, okay? You say, yes, I, I admire, I, I think it's a good, worthy cause, and I think uh, uh, your nationalistic fervor is remarkable. But at this stage in my life, I would rather not do it. So you know, the way you, you deal with that is that you disengage without uh, without embarrassing them in a way that they don't feel embarrassed because or you you passing judgment on them. You accept them with what they do, what they are, who they are, and what they do. But you don't need to pass judgment on them. That's Buddhism. That's a Buddhist viewpoint. Okay, we accept people. For being different from we are, we accept people even when they're very wrong. We still accept people. We don't judge them. That's how we help them. Okay. Yes. So there's a, you know, to me, learning the learning process is a, is a, is a two way street. You're learning from your teacher at the same time. The good teacher will learn from the students as well. It's not a one way street. It's a one way street. Uh, then the teacher is not very wise at all. All teachers are continually learning from their students, by the way. Okay? Uh, the teachers uh, hone the skills from teaching the students. It's by teaching, that's when you, you, you understand more about what you, you're teaching. That's why good teachers keep improving over time through, through, through teaching others. Okay. So, thành ra thì trở lại như như con con phải tập như hiền trì con tập nhưng mình lớn tuổi mình tập mình tập bớt dùng sức rồi mình chỉ về cái hướng đó thôi. Xong rồi xong bước đi mình thư thả mình mình relax mình không suy nghĩ nữa. 
ok thì như vậy mình đỡ tốn cái 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 năng lực của cái tâm trí của mình thì như vậy à, tại vì nếu cứ xài sức như vậy hoài mình sẽ hết sức mình chỉ tới những cái ông phố nhỏ mà lúc mà lúc mà lúc mà đi tới thì relax rồi lúc mà chụp hình nữa mấy ông chú tôi mới sức chụp hình xong rồi xả xong xong relax đi ok so you see you pace yourself during the day by learning to relax learning not to think okay and once you get there ikaru asked me a very smart question a while ago a while ago trước khi lớp với các em bé tôi hỏi thầy làm sao mình biết i don't know why why would a boy how old is he eight would ask you the question how does knowledge come to you i think his mom told him that <laughs> really At the age of eight, he said he asked his mom this morning, "How does the answer come to you?" <laughs> you know, I was 39, and when I—that's when I started uh, to meditate. I never asked myself the question, <laughs> "How does the answer <laughs> come to you?" <laughs> It's embarrassing, <laughs> and he already knows about it. How does the answer come to you? The answer comes to you when you relax. Because here's what happened. Remember, very often, uh, you have a problem you can't solve. Hi, lady in in on Facebook. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, like at times when you let's say you have a math question or you have a certain problem you can't solve, and you think about it for a while, and you can't, you know, and your hair turns gray right here. Yeah. You, you can't solve it. You keep on thinking, and more you think about it, you realize that it's no. You know, you, you you keep spinning your wheels. And you, when you when you do that, by the way, when you get older, then that's when your hair turns gray right here around the temple. Okay. You know that. Ricardo will find out one of these days. When he gets as older as I am, then if you think about things you can't solve it. That's when your hair turns gray right here. Okay. That's when you use uh, what's it. Uh, Uh, touch of gray or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so so what happens is that uh, uh, very often you have a problem you can't solve. So you keep on thinking and thinking about it until you're tired, right? And you can't, you still can't solve it. And guess what happens? Every now and then uh, you have these such problems. That's what happened to me when I was uh, was in high school. Okay, and I couldn't solve a math problem. But then I thought, of, I thought about it. I still couldn't solve it. And then, and then being alone, I wouldn't ask anyone. But then uh, I would go to bed, and the following morning, the answer would come. It happens a lot to all of you, right? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Because we, we I didn't know about meditation. Because during sleep, you're still thinking about it, okay, and you relax. When you relax, that's when the answer comes to you. You're a lot more relaxed when you sleep. That's how the answer comes. Okay? So if you meditate, the answer comes when your mind is still. So the mind, when the mind is still, the body is relaxed. So you reverse the process. You relax your body first, and you still your mind. That's when the answer comes. Okay, so that's what happened. Is that you know, like the Americans here, they have a they have a saying. They say, "Sleep on it before you make a big decision." Same exact thing. You think about this is how you solve problems. By the way, I'm glad you brought it up. Okay, I'm glad you kind of brought it up. It's such a great topic. How do you solve big problems in life? Okay, how do you look for answers to more to your more important questions? Okay. Uh, The by here's how you go about it. First of all, you dig and you research thoroughly about all everything you could find. You can dig up to find the 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 answer to it. Okay, you get on the internet, you ask people, and so on. Okay, you ask their opinion, and 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 then you 
you, you think about it, okay? And then, bef and then what you do is, is that you stop when you realize you're not making any more progress because you want to begin to spin your wheels. Keep on thinking about it. Now you're not, you're really you're not making progress anymore. Okay? That's when you stop. You stop and then you relax. And then go to bed or better yet, meditate and stop thinking about it. Don't meditate and say, oh my God, I can't, I have to hold this problem because my job is just there. Oh my God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose, I'm going to lose him if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if I, I, I can't fix this problem. Okay? You stop thinking about it. You stop thinking about it. That's when the answer comes. This is what I do. Uh, yes. Con đi học nghề với một người thợ cơ khí Cắt cái cái dĩa mà cái đạp, xe đạp mình cái đó. Cắt một hồi nó hư hoài Nó méo hoài, không cắt được nữa Thì cái ông thợ chánh là 9-10 năm rồi đó Hồi một khùng bỏ đi về luôn nó thôi không có làm nữa Thì con nó giờ cái người phụ thôi thì Con cũng đứng con dòm hồi cái Con không giống như thầy nói đó. Con dòm giống như cái người sắt, người đá Mà dòm cái đó chứ không có nghĩ vậy đó Một lát ừ. con làm được ừ không có nghĩ gì đó mình cứ ngồi mình dò mà cái đầu mình để trống mình cứ dò tập xét giác liền cái đó là thiền đó đó là thiền đó. tại con có không phu thiền rồi con mới làm được he just said he just said a related a very interesting story he says when he got out of the labor camp in Vietnam okay and he he survived labor camp and he had to learn a trade so he learned how to cut the disc of the tricycle in metal And he's only a trainee an apprentice. And the 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 uh, the craftsman, the the senior thing, the, the 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 main dude, he was he looked at he they couldn't cut it round. See, there's no machine back there. There's no computers back there. You do everything by hand. And somehow both of them they couldn't cut the, the disc round. Okay, you know the disc of of the chain thing. They have a disc or they pedal back here and they pull the chain and pull the wheels in front. Okay, and so the disc here has to be round. So they couldn't cut the disc round at all. So, so the the senior craftsman gave up and said, "I I can't do this." So what this guy did is that he he would sit stand there and, and look and look and look and not think about it. And then he could do it. Okay. So this is what happened. This is why meditation skills come, comes, it comes handy because he was able to meditate in labor camp already. That's how he survived. Without late meditation, without all these, uh, the meditation will allow you to recharge your battery without food. You know that? When you're tired, instead of grabbing for candies and food like here, you know, go to the vending machine and grab a Mars bar or, or a crackle or whatever, okay? or M&M's, instead of doing that, steal your mind and meditate. You save yourself a lot of calories. I mean, intake. Okay? So you recharge the batteries by doing that. This is a natural reaction. You want sugar. Instead of loading your body with sugar and carbohydrates, you steal your mind and you recharge the battery naturally. Okay? So what happened is that During labor camp, he learned how to meditate as the only way to survive because there's no food, there's no medicine. Okay? So again, I, I, as I alluded to earlier, when meditation also strengthens your immune system naturally. Okay? So, so he had some meditation skills. So when he had to cut that disc around, he just would stand there and look at it and look at it and then he would know how to do it because the answer came to him without thinking when he was not thinking. He said, well, exactly what you do. I repeat again, for your sake, this is a very important skill for you that you need to hone and develop. Research thoroughly about the problem you need to fix. And if you can find the answer, fine, good. When you can't find the answer, okay, and you realize you're not making any more progress, that's when you stop. And you meditate or you sleep on it. The answer will come to you more often than you think. Okay? I always do that. I would think about a problem, I would come over and answer, you know what? I still meditate. I, I improve on the answer, by the way, or find a better answer. 
when you meditate, when your mind is still, when your mind is at rest. You see, Ricardo, you have to rest your body, also rest up here. Okay? Relax your mind. Okay? Relax your mind. Just relax. Don't think. Don't worry. Okay? That's when the answer comes clearer. This is a better answer. Last night, somebody came to me and said, you know, I need to, this audio thing has been bugging us for two weeks now. And I said, you don't know what you're doing. You ask me to do things that's not going to solve the problem either. Just leave me alone. I left. Okay? And it's a good thing. Why? Because this morning I have a better, better answer for it. Because I had to do it last night. It would have not worked either. So I'd be unhappy because it would be not authentic Buddhist chanting. Does it make sense to you? We would be engaging in, in doing something, portraying something that's really not Buddhism. It's not our practice. I would rather have two tracks, or three tracks, or four tracks. The chanting, the instruments, and they manipulate the instruments themselves. We don't care. That is authentic. And that's what I've been struggling with for the last two weeks. Okay? So, so, the research, the hard work, will pay off as soon as you realize that you're not making any progress. Stop and meditate. So this is where your meditation skills come in handy. By the way, I have a big problem. I always meditate. I, I do exactly what I just taught, told you. I research, okay, thoroughly, the best way I can. I find everything I could find my hands on to read up on it, and then I stop, Okay? I would not do anything. You have to relax. That's when the answer comes. Because the mind has a way of being able to regurgitate and put his, the arms around everything. That your, 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 your conscious mind is linear. It cannot do that. You see? The linear mind would take forever to incorporate everything where when you relax, you're able to embrace it. Okay? Same thing, why, again, when you deal with your teacher, I would not fight him, just relax. You see? You relax, and you can see everything. You can accept him, and not be offended by his imposing his knowledge and will on you anymore. The accepting is just an old fool who's good at something. So let me finish my point here today. What well, I learned from AP, the AP people were very interesting. The, 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 the journalists came. I just described to you uh, the, um, the photographer, right? The journalists came late. The three people came. He's the last one who, to arrive. The video person came second, I think, right? She was first. She was, first. She was uh, you know. So they came prepared, and they worked, and they worked hard. And she's very good as well. Uh, but the journalist, the main journalist came. He's less, he has white hair. Okay, so you see, he worried a lot of things. You have to worry about a lot of things before you, all your hair turns white, I think. <laughs> and later I, real, I found out he's a star journalist. He's, he's a hot shot. Right? And, and uh, he surprised me totally. I expected a you know, a in-charge person. I'm going to waste my time here. Okay, I'm important. What I'm doing is, is, is important, so on. I know what I'm doing. So, but he's so relaxed. He's so low-key. He kind of stands off. He kind of backs off. He doesn't say, come to, you, to your face and say, hey, here I am. Answer my question. Okay? He kind of backs off a little bit. Oh, is that it? So he's so relaxed. Okay? And I, that's why it dawned on me how interesting the guy is. Once you know everything, okay, if you're so experienced, when you have this head of white hair in your head, you've seen virtually everything, okay, in your life already, right? You're young, so you don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. When you get older and you've seen, you know, you, there's a pattern in everything in life. You see it all. So, and so when after you see it all, what do you do? Same thing. Remember what I talked about? You relax 
That's when you, that's when you are able to incorporate everything you're seeing today and what you know in the past. So this guy is so relaxed. He's, he's just always relaxing the whole time. I didn't see any tension. I didn't detect any tension in this guy. So, another aspect of, and of the answer is that your instinct takes over when you're relaxed. So this guy, John, operated on instinct. Okay? He's more relaxed than Xian Chu, by the way, and his meditation skills are not as good as Xian Chu's meditation skills. But he knows how to relax. That's why he's so good at what he's doing, because you know, you relax you, and the answer comes to you. You know exactly how, which angle to approach it, which angle to emphasize. Okay? So, it's interesting. I learned, I, 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 I found also so interesting that, uh, that uh, 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 such an effective reporter uh, can be so relaxed. So easy going. He's not a command, take command kind of person at all. And and so he told me from the experience, told me, and this man relied on his instinct a lot. After you see them all, what else is there? What else else can surprise you? Now it's a matter of you incorporating what you see today with what you know already. So you have to be relaxed. See that? Oh, hiểu. Lớn tuổi rồi á. Mình đã thấy cuộc đời mình thấy nhiều rồi. Ừ. Tại mình, cái, cái kinh nghiệm của mình đó, với cái cái hiện, cái hiện cái, cái tình trạng ngày hôm nay, coi chừng relax thì con mới có thể, con mới có thể, con mới có thể tất cả, bao gồm cả tất cả này, bằng cách, bằng cách không suy nghĩ. Cái dùng cái linh tính mình, nó sẽ giải quyết cho mình một cách tự động. Thầy, thầy, thầy giải quyết bất cứ một cái điều quan trọng, thầy khi nào cũng thiền rồi đó. That's why, in, in, in closing, ok, I use the meditation skills in solving all the major problems I have. Even though I have an answer, I still meditate. And my answer is invariably is better than the one I had before I meditated. Or more often than not, I become more confident on my answer. Yes? The answer comes from where? Where, where, where the answer from? comes from? The answer comes from within. There are two. The the, the answer from the wisdom inside of you. Okay, and that wisdom cannot manifest unless you're still and relaxed. Okay. So, it doesn't come from outside. It comes from inside of us. We're capable of doing that, just like John, just like a journalist. We all are capable of doing it. We just don't know how to relax until we have white hair like he does. This is why I enjoy meeting with uh, good people, talented people, because they give me a glimpse okay, of their experience and how they got to be that good when the state of being excellent at what you do what is that state? I enjoy meeting such people for that reason. So I see this guy here depending on his in- instinct a lot more than you think. That's why he's so relaxed. The, the instinct does not operate until you're relaxed. Okay? Any questions? Okay, very good. Then we stop here today. Thank you. <laughs>